guys, welcome back to my bathroom. This is phase two of our bathroom makeover. Not a full renovation, we're not tearing walls down, we are not ripping floors out, this is a makeover. My previous video, we painted the walls, we took the builder grade mirror out, and in this phase, we're focusing on the bathroom vanity. Right now, it is white, just like everything else in this bathroom. And my dream was to bring some warmth into this bathroom with a wooden vanity. But here's the problem. When previous owners moved into this home, they didn't like all of the wood going on, which I can't blame them, right? That's a lot of brown. But what they did was they painted everything wood white. And it's a lot of work to strip layers and layers of white paint off of wood. And knowing that in the future we're going to be doing a full bathroom renovation, I didn't want to invest my time stripping all of the white paint off of the wood. So there is a technique that I have researched that I want to try just because it's a great opportunity to do so. And it is using a product called Reteekit. Now Reteekit is a liquid wood that when painted over a surface, it creates a layer of wood that you can then stain. So with that in mind, we're gonna try it today on this vanity, which is going to bring in some warmth with a wooden tone that we can then stain and make my wooden vanity dreams come true. So this is a vanity and it's actually a really beautifully made vanity. This wood scalloping detail around the edges actually matches the same trim that we have in our kitchen cabinets as well as our primary bathroom cabinets. It's a really beautiful theme that kind of follows elements throughout the house with arches and kind of curved detail. So I definitely am going to keep this on. Obviously I can't just like cut it off. What's not beautiful to me is the layers of paint that they put on this wood. I can only imagine what it looked like before. So hopefully, this reticket method will bring the wood tone back and they will need to have that warmth back into this bathroom. The next step is to remove the doors and the drawers and then we're going to wipe down the vanity, make sure it's nice and clean, a good clean surface for when we add the reticket. So let's do some removing. Are you gonna supervise or are you gonna help me paint? Okay, supervise, got it. So this is the re kit that I ordered off of Amazon. I'll link it below so you can click the link and it'll take you there. But it's it puts a real wood finish on almost any surface, which is crazy to me. You can put it on metal, you can put it on wood, you can put it on formica, plastic, concrete, which is crazy. I just feel like this is a really cool idea. Like whoever came up with this, genius. It says that it contains over 65% recycled wood, which is what makes it stainable. This is actual, literally liquid wood. Crazy. The order actually came with a brush, which I also have my own that I'll use. I really like this editor brush, especially for like corners. So I'll probably use a combination of the two. What I didn't get is it, it also can come with a stamp. I think you have to buy it separately but it's a wood grain stamp that you drag over to actually create a wood grain effect. I'm not gonna do that, but if you want to, totally feel free. Some of the videos that I watched did use it. If you wanna try it, definitely go ahead. So I already cleaned the surface, make sure it's nice and clean, remove any oils or anything. The instructions are fairly easy to follow. It comes with a card you can read that kind of explains everything about it. The top has a little QR code you can scan and watch. A lot of great tools that are easy to follow. So this comes in a light wood color and that means you can really stain it whatever color you choose. So I'm just gonna dive right in. I don't really know what to expect. I've never done this before. I feel like it's just like, <laughs> try it and find out. Um, it looks like the color of peanut butter. It doesn't smell, which is nice. All right, I'm just gonna dive in and start painting. I hear the west winds calling I'm my name They're telling me to head your way 
Down your own past your gates Keep your eyes on the horizon I was looking to belong when I'd already found my All right, so while the vanity dries in the bathroom, I'm gonna work on the doors and drawers. The first thing I'm gonna do again is clean them off and then we will work on painting them. Typically when I do drawers for cabinets, I like to hang them so I can do both the front and the back at the same time, but I don't wanna have to set up like a contraption for just two doors, so I'm just gonna do the old fashioned way, do one side at a time and wait for them to dry. Won't be long. I'm there before the setting sun For you to fall into my arms The place I call my Something I think I could have tried that I didn't even think to until I was doing the first coat in the bathroom is that sometimes when your paint is really smooth, it can be hard for other paints to adhere to it. So you can either use a primer or you can scuff it up a little bit with some sandpaper, which also works wonders. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna do a couple different layers and coats of this retique it. But if you're doing this project, and you also have like slick paint on your surface, you might want to try like a sandpaper just to scuff up the surface, give a little bit more grip. Or if you want to do multiple layers like me, that'll work too. I'm just trying to give you guys some tips. Do as I say, not as I do sometimes, you know? <laughs> I was going to tape around the hinges, but since I have a really good angled brush and I have really good control, I'm not going to worry about taping it, especially because the retique it comes off really easily with a lint-free rag. So if you make a mistake, you can just easily rub it off and it won't leave any stains or anything. The liquid wood is finally dry. I ended up doing a total of three coats just to make sure that the white underneath was completely covered. And I will say, this is amazing. I have never seen a product like this before. It feels like wood. And, which makes sense, right? It's liquid wood, it has wood fibers in it, but it just like didn't register in my head until I actually saw it and now I'm feeling it and it's just really cool. So needless to say, I'm really excited about actually staining it and seeing how that turns out. So that's what we're gonna do next. I went and picked up one of my favorite stains, which is actually Bear. Bear is not sponsoring this bathroom makeover, but they should see this and reach out to me because <laughs> I love Bear. This is their premium stain, it's oil-based. I got the color Dark Walnut, which is one of my favorite tones to use. It's just a beautiful, beautiful tone for wood. So we're gonna go ahead and get this stain and then we'll go and do the doors and drawers. And I'm planning on just doing one coat of stain, but depending on how much the retake it actually takes in, we might do two coats based on how that turns out. So let's get started. I'm a little nervous, but I'm mostly excited, but I'm also a little nervous, but mostly excited. So we'll see how it turns out. That actually looks like wood, which like makes sense. Again, I keep saying that, but I just have never seen anything like this. I should definitely be wearing gloves. That's amazing. This is gonna be beautiful. I cannot wait. This is going to be beautiful. I'm gonna get gloves on or otherwise my hands are going to be brown within the next five minutes. So, stand by. We're back in business. Was it all in my head when you said you love me? Cause no one can love me better than you did. And I'm still not over it. Did you forget? I put you before me. All right, we're going on day three of the staining project, but we're finally wrapping it up because these puppies are dry. I can't express how impressed I am with Retique It as a product. I personally had never used it prior to this project, and I can tell you right now, I will be using it again. I don't know on what or where or when, but I am. I will be using it again. It's so, so cool. I will say, I'm glad that I was really neat in my brush strokes with the retique it because you could definitely see the brush strokes under the stain, but I was really careful with how I brushed it on. So overall, I'm really impressed with how it turned out. My next step is to reattach all of the hardware, all of the handles, and then we'll reinstall the doors and drawers and we'll call it a wrap on phase two of our bathroom makeover.
I would ultimately call this a massive success. Could not have hoped for this to come out better than it did. Like I, I have no words. This is, it's just beautiful. I'm so excited for phase three and to see how this bathroom continues to evolve and unfold. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world and I will catch you next time. Bye guys. Who do you think? You just wanna play ball, huh? That's all you care about. That's all you care about.